First it was San Francisco, now it's Los Angeles dealing with an out-of-control marijuana situation. As you may know, California legalized medical marijuana in 1996, and the scammers immediately took action. The number of pot shops in LA has increased from 4 to 98. And anyone can get a prescription if you have the cash. The factor sent producer Chris Spinder to see one of the pot doctors. So basically, he didn't even give you an exam. He did not exam me at all, no. As no blood fact, test or anything like that? He sat on the other side of his desk behind his laptop computer. I sat on the other side, and uh, for the entire conversation, that took place over the desk. All right, so he just looked at you, and he gave you the, uh, the um, recommendation, as they call it. How much did that cost? $250 in cash. L.A. Police Chief William Bratton now wants to close many of these clinics, saying they are bogus. Same thing happened in San Francisco, where Mayor Gavin Newsom did shut down some pot shops. Joining us now from Los Angeles is former prosecutor Donald Schweitzer. All right, let's cut through all the fog here. This is the no-spin zone. This is this is a scam. Everybody knows it's a scam. Um, you know, our guy walked in, nothing wrong with him. Doctor sat there, certified by the state of California, Said, what, you got a headache? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bang, bang, 250 bucks. Here's your pot thing. You can buy eight ounces, you know, 15 times or whatever it was. So everybody knows. Scam. So what? Voters well, of California wanted it. They okayed it. So what? Yeah, I don't think that the voters in California, because I live here in California, uh, necessarily voted to totally legalize marijuana. We did uh, decriminalize marijuana with the passage of some other laws, but this specific law was supposed to be for serious medical conditions, and it was written by people that were really trying to legalize marijuana. Uh, I think that most people would be appalled to find that there are juveniles going into these pot shops, purchasing marijuana, going back to school, uh, selling, you know, two well, don't you have to be 18? What is it? 18, no, you don't. 21? Nothing? No, no, you don't. You, no, can be, you can be 12 and go in there? Well, you know, I don't know. There's no, I'll tell you right now, the code doesn't have any age limits, but I know personally that there's been children uh, that I know that have gone in there that are under 18, purchased marijuana, gone to juvenile court, and gotten off the hook because they've produced these letters of recommendation. There are no rules or regulations <laughs> pertaining to this stuff. All right, it's in San Francisco, scam. what was happening was the dope dealers were going in, you know, giving it 250, taking the uh, eight ounces out, cutting it up, and then selling it to kids right. on the street. That's, right. what, that's what happened in San Francisco, that you know, the dope dealers go, well, you know, why do I have to buy it from Mexicans or Canadians? I can just buy it here, cut it up, Cost me 250 I can make 1000 and I can buy heroin with the rest. And That's what created, was going on. We've created a protective shield around these dope dealers now. You know, you go in and you get yourself a little letter, keep it in your pocket, and you go out in the community and sell. And if you get popped by the cops, yeah, you go into court and you say, here it is. But it's still illegal to sell marijuana, so they could probably get you on that. Now, again, though, I don't know whether the people of California or Americans in general really care whether people can buy marijuana or not. And the kids, you know, to pay 250 bucks just to get the prescription, most kids can buy in marijuana in school without going to that expense. Yeah, but Bill, let's just say this. Is if we want to legalize marijuana, let's do that, okay? But why create this boondoggle where our law enforcement agencies are spending countless amounts of money and manpower monitoring these <laughs> clinics, you know, and chasing people around? You know, if we want to legalize it, that's, that's great. But I don't think that's what people really wanted when I don't they passed know what this they law. Want. Uh, the federal government is not going to legalize marijuana as it stands now. And if the states legalize marijuana, as you know, the precedent is the federal government will come in and say you can't. This is a federal law, and you, you can't overturn a federal law by a state referendum. But, I, you see, I'm not sure. I, you know, the people had to know in California that scammers were going to come in for medical marijuana. They had to know that was going to happen. I, I thought that the commercials were very compelling, showing these cancer uh, uh, patients crying that they were hurting so badly and things well, like that. Well, they get Marinol. Yeah, well, I agree with you. I agree with you. But it was sold in such a way that we were talking about serious medical conditions. And people who vote don't read the legislation. They don't read the, the, you know, the, the actual law that's being introduced. And it, all the attorneys, particularly us in the DA's office, knew that this was a boondoggle. Yeah, uh, well, we know it, too. But you know what I'm surprised at and I didn't know was there's no age limit, that you can go in if you're 15 or 14 and buy this pot. If you say you got a headache and bang, bang, bang. It's very interesting. All right, Mr. Schweitzer, thanks for coming on. We appreciate it.